everybody, it's Bunny, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to do one of my newest favorite makeup looks that I like to call Vampire for Spring. The very first thing that I'm doing is just moisturizing my face with my normal Murad moisturizer. It just helps keep down the face demons. It's got salicylic acid in it. Next, I'm going through with Benefit's Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer Stick. I just got this stuff and I just started using it, but I like it a lot. So I'm just priming all over my face in circular motions. Forewarning, this makeup is kind of bizarre. It's not necessarily an everyday thing. So uh, the next step, instead of concealing your under eye areas, your eye bags, we're going to accentuate them with this lovely purple colored eyeshadow in Tarte's Bow and Go palette. And I'm just patting that on under my eyes, on my eyelids, and blending it out. I just kind of want my eyes to look kind of purpley red. I'm going for the whole undead kind of vampire look. And then the next thing that I'm going to apply all over my facial area minus my eye area is Benefit's new The Big Easy. It is not necessarily a new foundation, but it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer with a lot of SPF in it. I got it a couple days ago and I've absolutely been obsessed with it. So the only kind of color correcting that I'm doing is adding a little bit of Benefit's Lemonade to the bridge of my nose just to kind of give myself a really prominent highlight. This is not a cream highlighter technically, but it's what I use it for. And uh, I'm gonna seal all of that in with Tarte's Pressed Powder in Powderful. This is my favorite powder. I use it every day of my life. Next, I'm gonna do my brows and I'm just kind of trying to define how they look naturally. So first I'm combing them through with a spoolie brush and then I'm applying Tarte's Brow Architect just to enhance them, define them a little bit. Then I'm going through and finishing them off with a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm gonna start working on my eyes again and the very first thing I'm going to do is put on some eyeliner very close to my lash line. This isn't meant to be a thick line, but just a teeny tiny one. And I'm using Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes in Golden Tiger's Eye. It's kind of a brownish, goldish, almost purpley color. And then I'm taking the sponge on the other side and gently smearing it just so it doesn't look absolutely perfect. So now I'm going to go on my under eye waterline. I never know what to call this area. And I'm dusting on some reddish eyeshadow. This is a prestige eyeshadow in the shade Blossom. Once again, this isn't necessarily for everyone or an everyday look, but I'm going for that undead vampire kind of red sad looking bloodshot kind of eyeball and I think that this gives that just a touch. The next thing that I'm doing is I'm going back in with that Tarte purple eyeshadow from the Bow and Go palette and I'm applying it gently in the crease. I don't want this to look like an overpowering purple. I just want it to be like a suggestion of purple. And then I am taking a fluffier eyeshadow brush and I am blending that purple shade out with Benefits, pause for applause, and that is what we're left with. Kind of a faint pinkish purpley type color. And then the last thing I'm doing is applying liquid eyeliner, which is Ico's liquid eyeliner in brown. Now it's time for contouring, which I'm trying to do in a dramatic way. I want to make my cheeks look more hollowed out than they normally are. So I'm kind of starting off by applying this heavy handedly just on the sides of my cheeks almost forehead level, and then my cheeks and under my chin. And then I'm gonna go through and blend that out with this nice heart-shaped brush. It's supposed to be heart-shaped. I think it looks a little bit like a butt. And then last, I'm going through and contouring the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose, and also doing a little eye socket contouring, kind of connecting my nose to my eyebrows, if you will. And I'm going through and blending that out as well. Next, I'm going through and applying a little bit of blush. And for this look, I kind of wanted it to be almost an orangey apricot. So just slightly with my fingers. You don't want to look too healthy. So just like with two fingers, I'm applying a little bit of the treasured blush 
by Tarte. Next is time for mascara. So first I am applying a two coats of the Dior Lash Primer. And then I'm also applying a two coats of Tarte's Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. You could stop here if you're going for a more everyday practical type look before we put the lips in, but I don't, I'm not gonna stop here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is apply a pair of half lashes and I'm using my favorite, which is barely there by eco tools very easy to put on very comfortable so that's what that looks like there's my face do you like my face i hope that you like my face now we're going to move on to the lips which somebody told me the other day this is a very popular way to wear lipstick right now in korea i don't can anybody validate this so what i'm doing right now is really adding the kind of vampire aspect into this makeup i want it to look like I was maybe just feeding on something. I'm going for a really asymmetrical kind of look on the inside, towards the inside of my mouth, if that makes any sense. So the very first thing I'm applying is Tarte's Lip Surgeon's Pencil in the shade Fever. And then just to kind of accentuate the redness, the bloodiness, if you will, I am going back through and on the very inside of my mouth, I'm adding little flecks of just a regular red lip pencil. No fancy brands here. And then lastly, I am topping it off with Benefits Benetint. And once again, that just accentuates certain areas of this lip look, makes it look a little bit darker in certain areas. This is obviously not for everyone. I'm stressing that here but I'm really enjoying it lately and I really think it fits my look and my personality and my current mood. And I posted this look on Instagram the other day and a lot of you guys requested it and I aim to give you guys what you request. So I would love to see this look recreated if you guys post it on Instagram or anything like that. Please keep me posted by hashtagging SF Vampire for Swamp Family Vampire. And then I can see you guys' looks and how it turns out on you. And I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. And I hope this tutorial helps someone. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.